go to church? Yes. Where? Flames of fire. Huh? Flames of fire. Be serious there. Yes. I want God to use you one day. It's your father. Yes, my pastor. We come from the same church. Which one? My biological, fa my biological, my biological father. It's our spiritual father. So we are also pastors from the same church. So it's your father. No, the ministry is not progressing, men of God. Where is your father? He's at work. Huh? He's at work. Is where? Is where? Is at work at Wheat Bank. Is working. Yes, we came also with our spiritual mother, my biological mother there at the back. Is your spiritual mother and, and my biological mother? Is your parents? Yes. Come, look at your parents. Let's see. Let's see what. It's your mom, this one. Yes. Huh? So you are. You want them to be delivered? Yes, man of God. Because there is no peace at home. Even in the ministry, the enemy is fighting my parents. He's fighting also me. In the ministry? Yes. How old are you? I am 19 years. 19 years? Yes. But you are like a big woman. <laughs> you see, you are like a... Yes. So it means you are not doing fasting. I you do. Just, but you are... Yes. <laughs> look at your mom. Look at your mom. Put the mic here. Look at Mama. Look at what Mama is doing now. What are you doing to Mama? Mama is that illustration? Which language is she speaking? Sipedi. Can you just deliver Mama? Say no. <laughs> to be honest with you, all of us, we need what? All of us, uh, live uh, for marriage. Come on! Ouch! Arie! Ouch! I believe I get someone here who wants to be anointed. One person here. Receive that anointing. Take it. Can, can I get one here who wants to be anointed here? Take it. Look at that girl now. 19 years. Mama, look at this. Look at this one. Take it! She wants to be anointed, this girl. And look at Mama there. They want anointing. 19 years. What this girl, what this girl she's saying is serious. I'm very happy. She came out to say, my parents. Is this good? Is this good as... My daughter come out to say, tell, to say, my parents' ministry is not growing. It means she has seen all. I'm sure you understand. And it's a pain. Like a hair. I know to be a daughter or a child when you are groomed out by parents, how painful it is when the ministry is not growing. When you reach there, you find your father is preaching and people are gossiping sitting there. Sometimes you find that they are gossiping your father and you are sitting close. They don't know you are a child. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So what she's saying, she means it. Or she's standing somewhere, she's going with her purse. They just say, Wamtiba Watlamu, Wamtiba, Wamtiba Watlamu. They are talking about where she's coming. Do you, you know, the children of pastors, they face nightmare. You people here, you must pray for pastors and even bless them. I don't know if you're hearing me. So that this case, this is, I know this, I know what this girl, she's 19. Uh, I wish you can go to my daughter here, go to my, can you hug her, hug her, hug her, hug her, kiss her, kiss her. You can be surprised, she's the eldest daughter, you can be surprised. So if she's the elder, she knows pain. She knows pain because what mama will do, will just, hey, uh, pastoring is not a chess play. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. You guys, you know. People were asking me now why I'm spending issues on the pastors. If you deliver a pastor, you have delivered the whole church. <laughs> it is... 
It's not because whatever I'm trying to do here is delivery. Whatever you hear about me, I'm involved. It's deliverance. If, if you just deliver a pastor, the whole church is delivered. So the reason why I spend time with pastors is because pastors, they are a light. So if we put more light on them, what will happen? The reason why we have to, I have to focus on pastors and we put light is because of their situation of the church. The church needs to be renewed. It needs revival. It needs breakthrough. If you stay in a church and nothing is up, it's painful. It backfires to the same what? To the same pastor. I'm sure you understand that. So when a pastor is free, automatically even nothing is happening to you. You just know that one day something will happen. Yeah. How many knows what I'm talking about? Who knows what I'm Listen to this. I can give you an example. You see this girl now. Uh, she knows. You people who are pastors here. Whatever. Because automatically, when, the moment when you're a parent, okay, sit down, pastor. The moment when you're a parent of a past, as a pastor, the first victim is your children. I'm telling you now, the first victim is not a pastor. Is what? Is your children. Is your children. When devil wants to deal with you, he deals with children. He can make your children poor, yourself poor, to suffocate. Because these children, if they see that you are succeeding, they will be very serious and they are groomed in the right way. They will be a, a good tool for God to use. So what he does now, Satan, he will make sure that people will be attacked, attacked, so that they must never see the pastor. Many pastors all over the world now are suffering. It's few pastors, if, if I can tell you that. It's few pastors all over the world who are, who are very rich. And if they become rich, they rich, become rich, very, very rich. And to extend that, people will fight them again. When pastor is rich now, you fight him. When he's poor, you say he's not a pastor. It's not true. You say, okay. If truly God wants to use him, why he does not use the anointing on him to bless him? That's what people normally say. So now, you'll be surprised. Pastors who are very rich, others have got aeroplanes and one. They are the news. People are criticizing them. Talking against them. But there are many haters who have got those things. Everybody is quiet. Even when you're not a Christian, you don't even know them. But you know pastors. Because once pastors are rich now, I don't, know, I don't know if you're hearing me. Once pastors are rich, the children of them will be something. People around them will follow them. And the kingdom of God will grow. But when a pastor is poor, even when he's prophesying, he's not a man of God. Whether he's delivering or not, he's not a man of God. Like myself, here, I'm poor now here. And people, they don't know me. People, once, once you are poor, people, they don't know you. But the rich people, they know, and this makes the, the work of God to expand. But no, let's, not, let's stop fighting pastors who are rich. Tell your neighbor, let's stop fighting pastors who are rich. Let's work towards their riches. We support them. We support them. I'm sure you're me. You support them. You support. You stand with them. When pastors is rich, whether it's not of your church, you must rejoice. I'm telling you now. Whether it's not what? You must do what? Even a Christian. Even a Christian. Because not long I saw one church of alcohol. Not long. Where, where, where are we going now? But that church of alcohol, of beer, we can overcome it by Christians who are becoming rich. I'm sure you understand that. Everybody just knows that people can come there and fill that church there. Because everybody of beer, we say it's our member. Anyone of beer is our member. So Christians, we need to believe God now. 
in prosperity. So that when we are blessed, we become a blessing to other people.